Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Order Battle Creeks Marine Paradox game of playing. And we're about to start Operation Torch. I uh, just want to check the specializations. Uh, I have 19 points. And I need 20 for Plan Z. And another 10 for the uh, Flugzeugsträger. Um, so I'm pretty far behind on that. I should probably not have taken flight school. In which case, <coughs> I would have had Plan Z by now. And I would be able to get Flugzeugs Traeger pretty soon. So, but, um, yeah, that's how it is right now. Moroccan Coast, November 42. The Kriegsmarine is sent out to disrupt Operation Torch, the planned Anglo American amphibious invasion of the northern Morocco. <clears throat> so, that's the way the game is set up that you have to take a specific path if you want to make specific things. Anyway, the war in Africa has been shifting back and forth since the arrival of the German Afrika Corps. Afrika Corps. To break the stalemate, the Allies have mustered a powerful invasion fleet aiming to open a second front through the coast of Morocco. In an attempt to delay and disrupt the invasion as much as possible, the Kriegsmarine has been dispatched to engage the Allied escorting fleet. The bulk of our ships will be directed to make contact with the enemy as soon as possible. In addition, a smaller flotilla can be sent further south to cut the enemy's line of retreat. Starting from these positions, we must turn eastward and destroy any opposition along the way to the Moroccan coast. If we succeed in reaching the Allied troop transports and supply ships, the enemy will have no other option but to retire and abort the operation. To assure the preservation of our own strength, badly damaged ships should head for the Spanish coastline and return to base. Right, so, <clears throat> primary objective is to sink or route 18 warships. Zero out of 12, so that's actually 12 warships. And inflict 12 damage to battleships, which is actually 15 damage. These are the right, correct numbers on the right, the numbers over here on the left are wrong. Uh, secondary objectives, no naval enemy leaves the map. <clears throat> Preventing enemy warships from escaping, assuming our mission succeeds, will weaken the American fleet in future <coughs> naval engagements. Sorry for my voice. I definitely want to get that one. And protect one French VP for eight turns. Delaying the fall of the French coastal garrisons will distract some Allied warships away from our fleet. Now this one I've been reading on the forum is impossible unless you have <coughs> Plan Set and the aircraft carrier with the appropriate Stukas because there's no way you can get there. And all it does is, is the, it's a, it will distract some allied warships away from our fleet. <clears throat> so, I'm not even going to try that. So we can put <coughs> four ships down here. <coughs> Sorry for my voice again. Let me just take a sip of juice. <coughs> okay. Um, let's see. 42 naval and 7 air. I think we got the air stuff that we need. And there is a support ship up there. And what is this over here? And that is a submarine. Okay. Alright, so I want to put something down here like... Um, let's see, we have... We have two Admiral Hipper class, which are much better than the Königsberg class. So I could upgrade. How much would it cost to upgrade? 104. And how much does it cost to buy one? 130. So there's only 26 more points and I'll get a star to start with instead of half a star. Well, let's try and deploy first. Let's put it here. And add a destroyer. This one can be upgraded again. Oh yeah, it can, for nine points. Let's do that. 
And then we have several dead ships, but... I don't think it's, uh, it's wise, because if I buy a new one, I'll get one star. If I revive these, I will start with zero stars, so it's... Um, and it's not like it's... It's a little bit cheaper, 50 for a revi revival. And if I buy one of this specific type, uh, we're looking at 60. So I, uh, it's 10 points more expensive to buy a new one, but I'll get it with a full star to start with. should we get down here I'm thinking two more destroyers so let's put up here now this force down here is just to prevent the enemy from leaving the map while this up here will be our attack force Slixby Holstein is down to seven Cost 69 or 47. Ugh. It's impossible to get Sleepy Holstein more stars because it's always the target of enemy torpedoes and bombers. So it will always lose strength. I think I'm, I'm gonna give up on adding more stars to it. Instead, the Admiral Hippotypes will be our designated. Uh, killers, which I will keep at full stars. There we go. Second support ship. We have the U boats. And we have the uh, seaplane tender. That leaves us another 13. Command points, and let's see, it's three per destroyer, so that would be six, that would leave us with seven. So that's another cruiser. All right, let's try it first and buy two destroyers down here. That's 140. Hmm. 420. That would leave me 135. Just enough for another Admiral Hipper. But then we would have no destroyers up top. I need at least one destroyer up here. And that also means I don't have the points to upgrade the Königs back. So I'm really lacking points, as usual. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another destroyer down south. Uh, let me calculate that again. 140, 120, 100, I, th I need some one of these. And then we should be able to get another Admiral Hipper, and that will leave us with 65, just enough to get another destroyer. This one. Okay. <laughs> so we're down to five points. Uh, we have some seaplanes. Obviously this one. Do I have enough to get this one up? Yeah, that's just four points. That leaves me with one point. And we can get the fighter in as well. How come I still have three points still? Yeah, I... Uh 
I don't think I can use the Heinkel because it needs a um, it needs a port. It'll have to go up here to resupply. I guess it could do that. Switch to torpedoes and only eight strength. Might as well. All right, let's start it up. I don't think this one can land. We learned that in the last scenario. Oh, there's a ship right there. So it'll have to stay close to the exit point, which is up here. Is there any exit down here? No. That's the US exit. And this is my exit. Okay. So let's start by uh, reconning a little bit here. So we got a light cruiser and two destroyers right in front of us. We should definitely engage. There's also something over here. Two destroyers over here. Hmm. That means I'm only slightly stronger. I would have loved to have one more destroyer down here, but I'm gaining 10 points per turn. So it'll take 6 points just to get the 60 to get another destroyer down here. Um, up here, let's move this one over there. And the fighter will protect. And uh, let's uh, let's get the show on the road. So we are going south and just taking some damage off of that guy. Destroy in the back. And the subs will come down this way. Sport ship will stay back. The seaplane tender can come forward a little bit. And then we have that sub over here. I think he's. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to go down and, and shoot supply ships. In eight turns, we can go only two. So one, two, three, four, five. I guess we can try. Come down here. There's a destroyer nearby. We're just gonna stay submerged. Let's see if we can uh, run into those supply ships. Right, so that leaves the two, those two, and then these guys. I think we're gonna head up, Just straight up. Like that. We're not that far from each other. The two fleets, they can converge up here somewhere. End of turn one, let's see. The French are shooting at the destroyer, no effect. And destroyers shoot back. There's a cruiser there as well. The British destroyer heads south. While the other one goes right next to my submarine. And the light cruiser. Okay, so that's a target for my submarines, definitely. Oh, he shoots directly at it. 
Yeah, I didn't know they were going to go that way. Here comes the supply ship. Two of those. And the landing crafts. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just take this up here. Continue this way. It's right next to a destroyer. I think that should be okay. Let's see what else we have over here. There are more ships up there. Now let's wait with these. So what are we gonna do here? I think we're gonna go down. swing around this way for some serious damage on the destroyer which it will not survive I will also keep firing on this one Let's get ready to torpedo this light cruiser. Oh, this one should be able to drop a torpedo. Yes. One damage to the ship and two damage to me. This one will not be able to do anything. down this way. It can act as a scout as well. Let's move the seaplane tender a little bit over this swing. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're gonna continue straight up with these. There was actually no point in getting them down there. Because I'm not strong enough to take out these two destroyers, I would take substantial damage doing so. Alright, what's left? The submarine can take a shot. Of course it won't do that. I like turn two. Now they're not trying to hit the supply ships with no effect. And the coastal fortress is going to get wiped. <clears throat> There's another British destroyer coming in from the west. And it's threatening my uh, my my back, so I need to get rid of it. Supply ships have now reached the coast. Light cruiser will uh, move over here and take a shot at the destroyer, I guess. No? Fires torpedoes with no effect. The U.S. Navy is uh, now reacting. It's coming this way. Okay. <clears throat> ah, coming straight at me. I'm gonna try and avoid getting into contact. And just lure them north up to my main force. I will also lure them away from the exit areas. Ah, uh, so they can see me apparently, even though I'm submerged. No, that was probably just random. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get to those supply ships anyway. Anyway, so I'm putting in a break. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll be back for more. Take care, guys. Bye bye.